Hope everybody's having a really good day. Welcome back to the farm. Finally, we're getting to the stage that I really enjoy, which is starting to do the stuff for the home automation. Uh, you know, we're gonna be wiring for speakers and motorized window treatments and uh, network, TVs, you know, all kinds of, all the fun stuff. We'll highlight all that. Should be cool and then we'll be wrapped up once we finish this stuff. Then we've got probably a couple days of going back and you know, tidying up all the Romex and everything, getting it neat like we want it. Then we'll call for inspections and finally, finally, finally be on to the next phase, which will be insulation. And then after that, we'll get uh, some sheetrock up and start back looking like a house. Really looking forward to that. You know, that's all probably gonna happen over the next four weeks. So look forward to that and uh, see what's going on inside. All right, Josh is setting up the wire. In this house, we're actually gonna set the rack in this corner. A lot of times they'll go in a closet, mechanical room, that kind of thing. Um, anytime you put them in an enclosed space, make sure you've got lots of ventilation. You plan for that because all the stuff puts off heat. In this particular case, this whole area gets uh, some built-ins and everything, so it's not gonna look out of place sitting in that corner. <laughs> There you go. So usually the wire comes in a box. They call it nest in box. Like this is a cat six cable and you get them in different colors. We like to do different colors because then we can separate out what this each system is, you know, what it's for. We are pulling green, blue, white. The white cable, let me show you. The white cable is a shielded cable. So it's the same as regular cat six, but it has a foil shield around it. That's what we use to send uh, video over cat six. So if we want to send video around to the TVs, uh, it's really in our case, it's a backup because we're, this house is so small. It's very easy to get uh, HDMI cables that reach to every TV. It's, it's a backup in case they change something in the future and those HDMI cables no longer pass it or we need it or whatever. So this is the time to put those things in. Um, speaker wire is also what we'll be pulling around. And uh, yeah, we'll go into, we'll, we'll detail that. All right, so you get all your wire together. You know, some of this is left over from jobs. That's why the boxes look so rough, you know. Uh, but this is a Crestnet wire, which is what's used for the keypads. That's just a little four conductor wire. Uh, the red and black are for power and the blue and white are actually a twisted pair inside the inside this and that's for the data. And then they have a little drain on them. This little uh, shield drain wire and shielding. So we'll set everything up. That's gonna be pulled to one room all at once. We'll label everything, put it all together, tape up the end, and then we will pull. I'm gonna drill the holes for the rack because that gets a false wall in front of it and some conduit for being able to pull in the future, things like that and we will pull from here to the furthest location. That's what you wanna do, because you want to pull the furthest location first and work your ways backwards. So we'll pull down, down this line. We're actually gonna pull, since this is low voltage, we're actually gonna pull it up top in those rafters. That'll cost us a little bit more wire, but it keeps it up away from everything. We'll run it and we'll drop it here and then we'll drop to every location. Like a keypad gets a wire, each window gets a wire for a motorized uh, draper shade. Uh, the TV that's going here gets the most wires. We'll drop all that off where it goes, staple it back, and then wire tight all the way back in a, what we call a trunk line, back to the rack. And then we'll just repeat that for every single room. If a room has a camera outside of it on the house, we go ahead and pull that camera wire through and then put it where it goes. All right, and this is what it ends up looking like. So you got all this wire, you know, you got a spool. We made our own little spool holders. Of course, they sell those, but this is the shielded wire. Anyway, so you have all this, you have it all taped together at the end, all right? Got those holes that we're going to fit conduit in and conduit will come down to the top of the rack. And then like I said, we'll show that later. But for now, it's just the hole obviously makes it easier to run. Each thing, so if you only have one thing being ran of one color, like this shielded that runs out of here, that's pretty, pretty easy to figure out, not a big deal. This is the coax. Right, so there's only one coax, but you label them anyway, label what everything is. And then we've got three different Crestnet wires, what they're called. This is also known as Lutron Green. That's that Crestnet I showed you earlier with the four conductor in it. There's three of them, one's for each window and one's for the keypad. So you label them on the end before you run them, and then you label the box with whatever it is. So when we cut these back length, you label them, you know what they are, and that way, that's how you know what the wire is. So I ran it all the way down over to here, woo! All right. And right now, we just got it hanging here in the room. So this is, this is all for one area, right? 
All that goes in this room. Uh, one wire's for an exterior camera. One wire's for the keypad that we jump around for the lighting system. Everything else is pretty much for the TV and the motorized window uh, shades or drapes. Probably gonna be drapes in this house, but we'll see what happens with that. So now we separate out what everything is and along a neat path, not just spaghettied over, we run it to each area it needs to go and then we'll secure it. There's a trunk line that runs. So now when we come to run this for the master, we'll run along that same run and then kick over to it and then split to the room and so on and so forth for each room. All right. First run done, ta-da. Then, so I said, that's one run to one room. Now what we'll do is we'll measure off how much we want. A lot of times you'll find that uh, these integrators or they'll get people to run them for them or the builder will get the electrician to run them and they just cut everything way too short. This, you know, stuff's gotta go, gotta go into a rack. Well, it could be anywhere in the rack. So you definitely want the wires to go all the way to the floor. Well, then the rack is, you know, 32, anywhere from 24 to 32 inches deep. So we wanna come out three feet, you know, and then you wanna, then, well, you need to be able to work on it. It's not always gonna be set right here, right? It's just gonna need to roll out, let's say enough to get behind, so that's another three feet. So you wanna come to the floor and out six feet. That's minimum. Now sometimes I'll give it a bunch just so we're covered, but I mean, that's the minimum you want is if, you're, if your rack sits on a floor to the rack, out six feet. Give, you, give your people some room, some wire to work with, you know, make sure you got enough, that's it. And what we'll do is we'll measure, we'll do one, measure it out exactly, and then we'll just cut all the other ones to it. And there you go. All right, then take the handy dandy Sharpie. Different people use different wiring methods. Some people uh, use number systems, which is fine. Just whatever you're used to. Whatever identifies it on both ends of the wire and is what you want. So we're gonna label it. We are going to label it actually the room it's in. And TV, because this is actually a TV wire. We'll just go through the list and cut them all back and then we'll set up for the next run. So this day's over for us. Got to go pick the kids up from school. So my framer came back. He knocked out uh, that little half wall we needed for the shower. Up above it, that'll be some glass and it does the glass door and all. So he did that. Close this in eight more inches on this side because that's where the fridge goes and I didn't want to be looking at the side of the fridge and plus it'll more match with what the other side was from the kitchen side so it's just a little weird area but that's how it, how it is. Platforms in, uh, the way we had to do some of the plumbing, we need to cover some of that, I had to come in some so we need a platform, kind of like the wash up off the floor a little bit anyway, that gets built into a cabinet so that's done. Uh, we should be able to finish up the AV wire tomorrow. And then we've got probably two to three days of, you know, tying wire, like that's hanging down because it gets pulled up and tied into the rafter, stapled up and everything. So two to three days of just cleaning wires up, pulling wires back, neatening things up, putting up boxes. Like I haven't put up the boxes yet here. Uh, there's exterior outlet boxes we have to cut in. So just all that kind of crap that takes time. So we'll do that. And uh, there you go. See you next time. Have a really good day.